So today we are going to see about multiple mobile access techniques uh, for wireless communication systems. So first we see what is multiple access. So multiple access is the use of multiplexing technique to provide communication service to multiple users over a single channel. It allows for many users at one time by sharing finite amount of fast that is, it is a signal transmission situation. So, multiple access is a signal transmission situation in which the multiple users means one or more users and thus some coverage area, they communicate simultaneously with each other using the common propagation channel or some common uh, radio channel. And this multiple access schemes are used to allow the mobile users to share the same finite amount of uh, spectrum. The spectrum in the sense is the radio spectrum, it is radio frequency bands. And the sharing of uh, this spectrum is required to achieve high capacity by simultaneously allocating the available bandwidth to multiple users. In this case, we have in, uh, more number of transmitters in the uh, source and more number of receiver in the uh, destination. And the transmitter, uh, in the case we call it as a base station means and the receiver is the mobile user in terminal or otherwise we can uh, swap in that uh, mobile station will be the transmitter as well as the uh, base station will be the receiver. So uh, in multiple access techniques, same channel, multiple users are uh, uh, splits the channel at the same time they providing the or establishing the communication. So the next is the simplex to hop duplex and full duplex that is these are all under the transmission mode and this transmission mode we can say it in a, uh, say it as in a wireless communication as the communication mode. So in the uh, transmission mode will be divided into three cases one is simplex another one is duplex and uh, Sorry, hop duplex and another one is full duplex or duplex mode. In simplex means one direction only. That is, it can either send the information or it send the information. That is, uh, for in the case of, uh, for example, all India radio. And second is the half duplex. Half duplex means one direction at that time. That is, it either sends the information or receives the information, but both are not taken in the same time. That is the half duplex. We, uh, for example, is the walkie talkie. And the uh, third one is the now we widely using the full duplex, that is, both the directions at any time. And that is, the transmitter and the receiver users uh, provides or establish the communication at the same time and using the same propagation channel. This is the simplex complex and full duplex sub channel. And third one is the multiple access options. So multiple ox, uh, access options means is the various kinds of multiple access schemes uh, that are available in the uh, wireless communication system. So first one is the FDMA and second one is the TDMA and third one is the CDMA. And FDMA is the frequency division multiple access is based on the frequency allocation. And also second one is the TDMA and TDMA is the time division It's based on the allocation of uh, time slots to users and CDMA is the code division. It's based on frequency as well as time to the user. So simply we call it as uh, FDMA is the simple uh, wireless system. And this uses analog technique, so it may be called it as first generation systems and uh, TDMA and CDMA is the second generation as well as digital technique. And CDMA is a uh, targeted uh, multiple access technology for third generation, that is 3G wireless systems. Uh, and this multiple access options are uh, the both the uh, FPMA, TDMA and CDMA can be grouped as uh, two band of frequency that is narrow band and also wide band systems depending upon how available bandwidth is allocated to the user. So uh, we can see in this uh, diagrams uh, 
FDMA is based on uh, frequency. So the whole band with the wide band of frequency is allocated or uh, divided, uh, splits into multiple bands. Uh, we say the uh, multiple bands in multiple colors uh, in uh, to multiple users based on the allocation of frequency. And here we have the time uh, TDMA and the TDMA, the splits of uh, radio band with the spectrum is based on time. So here is the frequency and here is the time. And we see in the TCDMA that is, is based on the frequency as well as time. So here we have the uh, more number of uh, users and the users accessing the uh, whole bandwidth cyclically, cyclic manner. And uh, we can, uh, already I told that to group into two our uh, band of frequency system, one is narrow band and another one is uh, wide band. In narrow band means the available radio spectrum is divided into large number of radio bandwidth channels. That is the available channel bandwidth is uh, uh, higher, that is greater than the coherence uh, bandwidth. In wide band system, each user uses entire frequency spectrum. So in wide band system is alone be used by the most of the 4G technologies and the uh, 3G technologies. Uh, and the next one is uh, FDMA. We uh, uh, see it in a we see the uh, FDMA and the TDMA methods. Uh, so FDMA is the available bandwidth is subdivided into number of narrower bandwidth bandwidth channels, and each user is allocated to unique frequency band which to transmit and receive. We is a visualized picture. We are here. We using uh, it is based on the wavelength division multiplexes. is related to FDMA. Uh, here in the FDMA, one frequency is used for forward channel and one frequency is uh, used for reverse channel. In the forward channel is means uh, the forward in the sense is the downlink process and the downlink is the communication will be provided from mobile to the base station. And the reverse channel uh, that is it is the uplink process where, where the communication is uh, established from base station to the mobile user. This is the uh, FDMA channel and uh, this will be emerged from advanced mobile phone systems uh, and also it commonly used for transferring of uh, voice and data. And these users uh, were God bands. And the, why we use God bands in the FDMA means uh, we split the band with uh, Launch bandwidth into smaller narrow band means so we having the uh, non overlapping system. So, though uh, avoiding the overlapping of frequency subbands, the each subband will be separated by inserting the quad band. This is the one kind of uh, bandwidth to avoid interference uh, that will be used or uh, ad, uh, adjacent to each uh, channels and also next is the time division and uh, time division means uh, we have a uh, time division the system uses the radio spectrum into time slots again and the time slots will be partitioned into frames and again the frames will be partitioned into time slots and the each time slots will be allocated to each user. At each slot, only one user is allocated to either transmit or receiver. And the users have to transmit in their assigned slots from frame to frame also. That is, uh, it is more and more better than the FDMA system. In case of FDMA system, the allocated bandwidth channel will be in some situation the user